So guys, um, sorry, I'm just gonna quickly, um, so inscribed angle, angle with vertex in the circle, guys, which, um, so that you have the notes in case people are absent or, um, okay guys, um, the central angle is different than the inscribed angle. Um, I have those lessons all recorded that way if you're ever gone or we have a snow day in the future then I have them recorded already. This so. not wearing a mask in though. What? I'm not wearing a mask in this one. No, no, this is more modern. <laughs> and it's a new smartboard. Alright, yeah. Okay guys, so we're going to learn a couple rules here um, that involve these inscribed angles and what I know about the arc. So again, going back to... Oops, going back to our central angle, whoops, why do I keep driving around here? Going back to our central angle, the angle's the same measure as the arc. That's not true for inscribed angles. So for our inscribed angles, it's a little bit different. It's very close, but it's not quite the same. So we're gonna draw this. So we have our inscribed angle here. So I'm gonna call this angle one up here. Now if this were a central angle, angle one would be the same as the arc AB. But it's not gonna be the same, it's gonna be half of that arc. So the measure of angle one is half of arc AB. So if I tell you that AB is 60 degrees, the measure of angle one would just be 30. Now if it was a central angle, it would be that measure, it'd be 60. But since it's not a central angle, and instead it's inscribed with just half of that value. All right, our next one here is if I have two inscribed, um, angles, so I'm going to draw two different ones here. <coughs> Oops, if I could draw them connecting, that would be good. No, we don't need a middle all the time. It still can be a circle without a middle. Okay, so what I did here, guys, is I drew two inscribed angles, so I used different colors so you could tell they were two different angles and not just kind of craziness going on here. So I'm going to call this angle two, and I'm going to call the other one angle three, because we already have angle one over there. Guys, now they both connect to this arc CD. So they both are going to be half of CD, so that means they have to be equal. So we're going to say that angle two equals angle three, and both of them are half of that arc. But they're going to be equal to each other because they touch the same arc. So they both butt up against the same arc here. So that's how I know they're the same as one another. When you guys are ready, flip the page over here. So if I draw a triangle 
with one of the diameter, the diameter is the edge, I'm just going to draw a triangle, and you guys can draw whatever triangle you want, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but it's got to be inscribed, so that means the vertices have to be on the edge. What you're going to notice is any triangle we draw like this is always going to be the same type of triangle. <coughs> what do all of our triangles have in common, regardless of how you guys drew this? It's not going to be equilateral. Isosceles. Not going to be isosceles necessarily. Skinny. With tangled. A triangle. Okay. So guys, take um. Right triangle. How do you know it's right? Okay. So hopefully yours does look like a right triangle, and I'm going to try to explain why it has to be a right triangle. It must be a right triangle because if this is my inscribed angle. What is this arc going to be if the side is a diameter here? 90. Wait, what no. No. It's going to be 180 degrees over here, which means this has to be 90. That has to be 180 degrees if we're using the diameter as one of the sides. So regardless of what your triangle looks like, they should all be right triangles. <coughs> must be a right triangle, not triangles. So that's really important to point out. We'll use that quite a bit. The next one says an inscribed quadrilateral. So we're going to draw a four-sided shape that's inside of this. And again, inscribed means all the vertices are on the circle. So I'd like you guys to draw a four-sided shape where all the vertices are inside the circle. So you could put points wherever you guys would like them. And then we're going to connect the dots. So quadrilateral, four sides. And you can make yours look like mine. You can look, make it look a little bit different. It doesn't really matter. I made mine a square. angles have a special relationship if it's inscribed, and this is only for an inscribed quadrilateral, that if I look at angle B, the arc that goes with angle B would be across from it. So let me show you guys that. So I'm going to use this color here. So angle B's arc would be here. But then angle D's arc would be on the opposite end of that. This would be angle D's arc. So together, they should add up to 360 all together. So what does that mean about the angles? What are they going to add up to? So if the two arcs add up to 360, the angles are going to add up to what? 180. So the opposite angles are going to be supplementary. So I'm going to say that angle B plus angle D is going to equal 180. Same thing for A and C. And this is if it's an inscribed quadrilateral. That will always work. <coughs> 